Nekoma is one of my favorite teams in Haikyuu because of how much I appreciate their philosophy and their simplicity. They don't have super aces or crazy mind-blowing attack formations. They simply conquer and master the basics to the point where they're unbreakable. Nekoma are the masters of defense and are able to adjust to any opponent in a short amount of time. They're a team known for their persistence because scoring a point against them is ridiculously tough. As they like to say, the players are like the blood in the veins. They must connect and flow smoothly without stopping. But what are the defenders pumping the blood for? The answer is simple. For their brain. In this case, the brain represents their setter, a brain that thinks three moves ahead at all times and creates strategies unlike any other setter we've seen in Haikyuu. But he's someone who, according to him, doesn't really have a purpose for playing volleyball. He's someone that's always been one step short of unlocking his full potential. Of course, I'm talking about our favorite video game enthusiast, Kozume Kenma. Kenma's character arc is really realistic and really subtle, and someone who I can relate to a lot. He is quite literally Hinata's opposite, not only in his mindset, but also in the way he plays. Throughout Haikyuu, Hinata and Kenma's arcs basically revolve around obtaining what the other has. Hinata was all about instinct and using his endless passion of volleyball to push him forward, but he had to take a step back. He didn't use strategy or observe much for the first three seasons, and so that's what he worked towards in season four. On the other hand, Kenma didn't have much passion for the game and didn't give it his all, but his intelligence and tactics were what pushed him forward. In previous seasons, Kenma always seemed like he genuinely didn't want to play volleyball. He didn't look like he hated it, but he clearly didn't want to be there either. But this point is addressed in Season 4, when Kuro, Yaku, and Kai are talking with Kenma. The truth is, Kenma does want to play volleyball, he just doesn't know why. It's a thing he's been doing for years, and he says he doesn't hate it, so he just keeps going. I think that's really fascinating because I can relate to this idea of doing something but not knowing why. He goes to practices, he does it regularly, but in his free time, he'd probably want to do something else. Yet, as the others note, it does seem that ever since Kenma met Hinata, he started getting a little more excited about the game. Hinata has become a challenge to Kenma, a puzzle that he just can't figure out. And because Hinata's enthusiasm is so infectious, it rubs off on Kenma, which is why he's so pumped this time around. If Nekoma wins this next game, they can play against Karasuno in a full stakes volleyball match. And so as we watch this next Nekoma game, we start to see why Kenma actually plays volleyball. He doesn't explicitly state it, but through his plays and his flashbacks, we can easily piece together that purpose. On the second day of the Spring National Tournament, as Karasuno and Inarizaki are having an intense battle, Nekoma is having a fight of their own. They're playing against Sarukawa, a team coached by a former Nekoma player. This game is a battle between two expert defensive teams, so naturally, it's going to be a long game. Each side is persistent and cunning, giving us a face-off that is just as much mind games as actual volleyball. However, as we watch this game, we see that Kenma is already tired, even in the first set. Now, we know he's not the most athletic and doesn't like getting tired, but this is still strange. And so, as the game progresses, we come to understand what Sarukawa's game plan is. They've been placing the ball in a way where Nekoma can get it, but not perfectly. This messes up Nekoma's timing, which means that Kenma has to run a lot more to get the ball in an ideal position. Sarukawa is willing to sacrifice the first set, just so that they can tire out Kenma, so that they can crush the brain of Nekoma. And this is where we get some of Kenma's backstory. We get to understand what kind of a person Kenma truly is. 
Kenma is a guy who, when it comes to things he's not passionate about, likes to take the easy way out. It's not that he doesn't put the work in, rather he puts just enough effort to make it through. I'm sure a lot of us can relate to this because if you don't necessarily enjoy what you're doing, you don't give it your all. That's not Kenma's fault in any way, it's just natural human tendency. Not everyone starts out mega passionate like Hinata or Bokuto. People have various reasons for playing a sport, and Kenma's just figuring that out. Despite that, he's still a really good player, so it kind of works out for him since he doesn't have to work as hard as, say, Taketora. Kenma's job is to be the setter, to be the strategist, and he does what he has to do to maintain that. This is why, if he's tired, he won't go for that tough receive or a hard to get set. He doesn't take that extra step. That is, at least, with volleyball. Kenma's true passion, video games, is a whole other story. He loves video games, to the point where he gamifies real life, including volleyball practice. This works out for him too, because he's able to concentrate and not get bored that way. Kenma will call volleyball practice leveling up, important matches, boss battles, or stamina, hit points, and things like that to keep him engaged. We've seen how intensely passionate he is about video games, as we learn about when he'd wake up at 2am just to play them. However, Kenma liking games isn't just a fun fact about him. In truth, it's a huge part of his character and one of the main reasons he is who he is in the present day. There's two key traits Kenma gets from this passion of his, which actually translates really well into volleyball. The first trait is his logical mind. It's perhaps because of video games that Kenma's mind is so keen, particularly when it comes to strategy. As we've seen multiple times, Kenma's strategies are insanely high level, and probably the main reason he was chosen as Nekoma's setter. Him and his teammates combined are the reason why Nekoma are so good at adjusting to their opponents. With Kenma's observations and the rest of the team's execution, they're an unstoppable machine. However, that logical mind also has a downside. Understanding people. Kenma is a massive introvert, and earlier on, he wasn't the best at making friends with anyone other than Kuro. And that's when Kenma clashes with Take Tora. I really like their dynamic, because they're two very different personalities. While Kenma is extremely logical, Take Tora is extremely emotional. Kenma believes that to get better, one must always assess their mistake, find the root cause, and solve it. Although that's a great mindset, Kenma is too obsessed with efficiency and therefore lacks that raw emotional drive to improve. On the other hand, Taketora believes that one must have guts and determination, working hard and pushing through your problems with gusto. This is also a great mindset, but it lacks logic in a lot of situations where you probably need to calm down and assess your mistakes. So we see these two players with very different ideologies butt heads many times during practice. At first, this is an indirect rivalry, consisting of angry looks at one another and tense practice sessions. But soon, after Nekoma loses a practice game, it becomes quite confrontational. Taketora especially didn't do that well in this game. And so Kenma, for the first time, tries to cheer someone up. Yet, even when Kenma interacts with Taketora of his own accord, he's too logical. His intentions are in the right place. What Kenma says may be the truth, but he doesn't take into consideration what the other person is feeling. After all, this isn't a video game, it's life. Taketora understands the mistakes he made during the game, but obviously he feels pretty crappy about them. It's not easy to just brush off that disappointment and fix your mistakes, especially when you've played so passionately, worked really hard, and have something to prove. They have a brief fight where they tell each other their thoughts about the other, which was actually really needed for them to become closer, especially Kenma who never opens up to anyone. So, after this fight of theirs, things start looking up. 
After they cooled down, Kenma started thinking about this idea of determination that Takitora always spoke about. On the other hand, Tora started observing Kenma and started to understand his personality, which is where we get the second trait Kenma got from playing video games, his competitive nature. As they train together, Takitora realizes why Kenma is actually really good. It's because he hates losing. Even though he looks like he doesn't want to be there or is bored, when Kenma is in a game, he's locked in, which is what makes him so deadly as a player. But he still doesn't push himself to take that extra step. Likewise, Kenma starts appreciating all the hard work Tora puts in, and slowly but surely, they acknowledge one another as powerful players, and more importantly, precious allies, and soon enough, become pretty good friends. I love this friendship between the two, and how it explores Kenma's character. By juxtaposing him with Taketora's explosive nature, it highlights Kenma's strengths and faults even better. And so, we cut back to the present day, where Nekoma continue their match against Sarukawa in their second set. The plan is seemingly going really well, as they make Kenma run left and right to get the ball up. Kenma is barely hanging on, and soon enough, he starts making little mistakes until one time, he just trips and falls. Sarukawa think they have the upper hand here, and Nekoma is struggling to keep the ball up. But somehow, it seems that Nekoma keeps scoring. Their receives are really sloppy, but the ball still goes through. That's because Nekoma was messing up on purpose. Kenma had figured out that Sarukawa was trying to tire him out, so he came up with a bold and risky plan. He asked his teammates to make crappy receives on purpose, so that he could use his exhaustion against his opponents. Because Kenma would run away from the center due to a bad pass, he would also lure the blockers with him, and then he could set to the guy on the other side where there were no blockers. Although this is a genius plan, to be honest, it's not something I would have expected Kenma to come up with. After all, this is the exact opposite of efficient. This requires him to work even harder and run even more in order for this plan to work. So why does he propose this idea? Well, it's because he believes his teammates have the determination to pull it off. Whereas previously he kind of looked down on Tora for having guts and being determined, over time Kenma understood the value of that. He still didn't believe he had those qualities, but he believed his team did. And so, Kenma is willing to work a little harder for his team's sake. This is great development, how Kenma naturally and slowly is coming to love volleyball and understand the emotional side of it. All that time spent with Tora rubbed off on him, even if he didn't express it. Ever since their fight, he'd always wondered about what it meant to have guts, to be determined. And what Kenma proceeds to do after this shocks everyone. The rallies between the two teams are getting intense. They reach the 30 point threshold, and if Nekoma loses the set, Kenma will have to be subbed out for the next one. However, as Nekoma are at match point, Tora messes up a pass, and this time, not on purpose. The ball veers too far away, and at his current position, Kenma won't be able to set it up perfectly. But then, he remembers what he's fighting for. His team. He's not the only player here. He's not the sole reason that they're good. It's everyone together. And man, his team stepped up their game today and really pushed themselves for the plan he made. So, Kenma decides it's time he does the same. This time, Kenma takes that extra step. And with that, Nekoma take the point and win the game. Although Kenma doesn't believe he has guts, Taketora thinks otherwise. 
He points out that even though Kenma always takes the easy way out, the fact is that he never gives up. Yeah, he comes last in running, he takes the longest in weightlifting, but he always sees it through to the end. Kenma is a very interesting character that has a lot of layers. I couldn't touch up on every single one of them, but I wanted to point out the things I did find, because his journey is really subtle. It's a journey that fits Nekoma's philosophy perfectly. He doesn't pick up all these lessons quickly. He does it slowly, naturally, one lesson at a time. Slowly but surely, coming to understand why he really plays volleyball. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff. Other than that, I guess I'll see you on the next one.